Well, that's Earl Deemer. That was again in the summertime when it dried up out there. He had built, remodified the buggy that he first built, and we took it out. We drive this buggy from West Palm Beach all the way down to 27, which is about an 80 mile, 80 mile trip. Had it set up where we could drive it on the highway and we'd get down there where we put in off of 27, we'd put the tracks on it and then go all over these Everglades with the, with the buggy and then come back out, put the tracks back on it and drive it back home another 80 miles. I think we were kind of crazy back then when we did this. Take one buggy and go all the way out there. That's what you call not having any brains, I guess. And back at the camp again. Like I said, these are not in sequence, so. We put this well down, put a point well down and got down there about nine or 10 foot. And didn't want to go any farther, hit a rock. And we drilled on it, drove on it for two weeks. Finally, it started going again. We figured we got through the rock. And finally it come back up out of the ground about 12 feet over from where we started. So we had to start all over again. Now this is going back to where it was dry out there with Earl's new buggy. And, and after the burn, them old pigweeds, what we called pigweed, grew up. Some of them got as high as 15 foot tall. See how tall they are. Al's six foot, better than six foot, walking out there. The thing about those pigweeds, when the water come back up, they would die and lay down, and they made more muck. This is coming back out on Route 27, where we put in. undone the tr tracks and run out from under them and roll them back up. Roll them back up and hang them back on the hangers. And we get back in that buggy and drive it all the way back to West Palm Beach. And I'll tell you what, in the wintertime that was a cold ride. Well, this is my dad's beagle hounds that he had up in Pennsylvania. This was back in the early 40s. He used to hunt rabbits up there. I was just a little tot then. I think he had his, about 18 of them at one time. He 
This is up in Coopersburg, out of Coopersburg, Pennsylvania. We had a 80-acre farm there. The old farmhouse. This is a bunch of rabbits that they killed. My dad and Zeno Campbell and Harold Campbell killed. That's Zeno on the left and Harold on the right. And that's my dad on the left. Really got into the rabbits, old cottontails. 1963.